This is question five. Here we're asked to make t the subject of five bracket t minus g, which is equal to two t plus seven. Now, when we're asked to make t the subject, what we're aiming to do is we're trying to get to a situation at the end where we've got t is equal to something. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to rearrange this formula to make t, to get t on its own. So the first step that I'm going to do uh, in order to get down to t is equal to something is I'm going to expand this bracket. So this gives me 5t, 5 multiplied by t, minus 5 multiplied by g. So 5t minus 5g, and that is equal to 2t plus 7. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is I, ideally I want to get all of my t's on one side of the equal sign so that I've got t is equal to something. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that 2t by subtracting 2t from both sides. So that leaves me with 5t minus 2t, which gives me 3t. Then, so that's now 3t minus 5g. 5g hasn't changed, and that's equal to 7. The next thing is I'm going to get rid of that minus 5g by adding 5g. Again, because I want to get t on its own on one side of the equal sign. So that gives me 3t is equal to 7 plus 5g. Then the final thing that's left for me to do, in order to get from 3t to just t, I'm going to have to get rid of this multiply by 3 by dividing both sides of my formula by 3. So that leaves me with 7 plus 5g all divided by 3. So final answer, t is equal to 7 plus 5g divided by 3.